Hey friends, welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you a new update on the tank. Sad news. Okay, friends. So you see the Ochi right there, the Mr. Ochi. He attacked a shark again. Yes, he attacked a albino white red-eyed parun shark. Yes, friends. Now he was attacked the second time. So what I'm going to do is I just emptied this tank, and I was so that it will be easy for me to catch the two Ochis and place them in a bisleri tank. Okay, friends. So uh, the, this is the guppy tank. The three guppies I told you. So they are doing okay. The water is just crystal clear. So you can see the one over there is a female, and the two down over there are the male. Yes, that's a female which you are seeing right now. Besides, those two other small guppies are the male guppies. So friends, uh, the water is a bit dirty right now, but I will make sure that the shark will be safe by changing the two orchids from the primary tank to the bisleri tank. So friends, I hope you may stay tuned, friends. So this is a uh, Mr. Ethan. Uh, so this is the bisleri tank which I was talking about. These are the two orchids will be there, friends. So this is the orchid is quite stressed out because I reduced the water so such a low level. So friends, so I'm trying to catch him with the cup over there. The koi is and all a bit stressed off. Yes, friends, I know I'm so sorry, but I had to do this. The fishes are really stressed off because of what I'm doing right now. Because I have to change it because the life of the fish is our main thing. The fish to survive. So I caught the first orchid right there. So you can have a better look right now over here. So I'm just going to focus, focus it properly. Yes, you can see he's really aggressive. The little one is Mr. Orchid, the first orchid. Yes, friends, you can see. You might mistake him for a peacock bass, but he is not a peacock bass. He is a bottom dweller actually. So I'll just leave him to his freedom to this this leery tank. So I'll be doing a daily water change. Yes, friends, because it has no aerator. You know they are river fishes, so they are very tough. So I might add some money plant to it uh, for decoration. So I'm going to catch the second orchid which is hidden over there, right in the rock. Yes, even he is also going to be get aggressive and stressed off, friends. So you know he's showing his aggressiveness by going away. He's been running for his life. So friends, I'm trying to catch him. Oh yes, again he's gone. He's gone to the other side. Yes, I'm trying to catch him this time at least. So friends, I caught him. I'm going to catch him. Yes, yes. The other fishes are getting panicked over there, and which is bad. But I have to do it as fast as possible. Yes, I caught the second one. You can see. The aggressive little second one, Mr. Orchi. You can see how his eyes are, and you can see the gold color over there. Yes, that's the best thing I like of it. It's like attractive. Yes, friends, he is a silent killer, as you can see, because he killed two Orchis. I don't know which one of them. So I will uh, leave him to the other one, so that they too may have a good life over there. And I have not seen them feeding anything, so I can just monitor a little better over there. How they feed and the behavior. So this can be considered as a quarantine tank. So this is a well water which I'm going to pour it into the tank. I'm just going to uh, refill it. So friends, I'm just filling it back again with well water. The water is a little bit cloudy. I don't know why. It's just muddy. It is not cloudy. It is just muddy. But by tomorrow, because of the filter, I just on put on the filter. By tomorrow, the water will appear crystal clear. I guarantee that. I will just pump in an aerator after some time. Because the fishes are quite stressed out right now because the temperature is changing and something. Because I can't just tolerate and make them stressed out, so I just filled it with water as fast as I can. So by tomorrow it will be crystal clear. I can guarantee that. But depends on the power of the filter, friends. The filter is quite good, uh, yes. And uh, the, you know, you can see the white shark in the new water without the aggressive monsters, so that they can live a peaceful life. So it's a peaceful community tank, friends. So the guppy tank will be okay. I guess.